This morning I saw a young woman on the news and um, when she was asked why she was not wearing a mask in a public park, her response was, I believe we all have the right to decide what is best for us. And I thought, wow, in just, in just that one little sentence, uh, she captured all that is wrong with our world right now. I, I mean, there's lots wrong with our world right now, but that, I thought that really captured the essence of many of the problems that we are having. That I have the right to decide what is best for me right now. Um, not a very Christian sentiment. Uh, Christians are called to be part of a community. The very God we worship dwells in community, Creator, Christ, and Holy Spirit. And this idea of everyone being out for themselves, um, it's not Christian. In fact, it doesn't really fit in with any of the major world religions, this everyone for themselves thought process. And, and her response, perhaps because she was a young woman, um, her response made me think of another young woman in the Bible, um, Esther. And if you don't know the story of Esther, I encourage you to read it. It's got, it's, she has her own book and it's pretty short, doesn't take long to read, so I encourage you to read it. But I'll give you a little synopsis here. Esther was one of the Jewish people who was in exile in Persia. And during that time, really the first incidents of the Me Too movement, as recorded, took place. Uh, queen Vashti, who was queen at the time, refused to, be paraded, refused to be paraded as a sex object and be shown off to the king and his friends. And when she refused to do that, uh, the king kicked her out. Ultimately, it was kind of good news for her at the time because he, he could have had her killed. But he basically kicked her out and was in need of a new queen. And so Esther was this young woman who was Jewish, but she could pass as Persian. She didn't have to tell anybody she was Jewish. She didn't have to tell people that she was a part of this exiled community. So her cousin Mordecai encourages her to participate in the beauty contest that is the search for the new queen. And she wins. I mean, okay, she wins. She gets to be queen. Whether or not that's winning is debatable. But she becomes queen and she keeps her true identity a secret. In the meantime, the bad guy of the story's name is Haman, and he does not like the Jews, and he creates a plot to try to eradicate all the Jews, to have them killed. Esther finds out about this. Her cousin Mordecai urges her to do something about it. Now, Esther could have said, you know, I think it's every person's right to decide what's best for them. And what really would have been best for Esther. Truly, I mean, she was the queen and she was safe and nobody knew who she was. And she could have lived happily ever after uh, and let whatever happened outside the palace walls happen. But Esther was a member of a community and, and she couldn't live happily ever after if the people in her community were not okay. Instead of everyone has the right to decide what's best for them, Esther lived by the mantra, I'm not okay unless everyone is okay. And so Esther risked her life by going before the king, admitting who she was, coming clean, and letting him know that someone who worked for him was plotting to kill her people. And fortunately, it worked, and the tables were turned. Spoiler alert, it is the bad guy who ends up hanging, and the Jewish people are saved. So I think about Esther, and I think about what a model she is for who we need to be right now. We need to be all about, I'm not okay, until everyone is okay. And I think that's particularly hard right now. Not only are, are we all a little scared for various reasons of what might happen next, but there are lots of ways we need to make sure that our neighbors are okay. First and foremost, we need to make sure that our neighbors are safe, um, by wearing masks, we need to practice social distancing. Over and over again, we have learned that many people can carry this virus and be asymptomatic. So even if you are sure you are not sick, you cannot be sure you are not carrying it. But that's not all we need to do to make sure that people are okay. Unemployment's at an all-time high. <clears throat> people have lost their jobs. People who never thought they would be standing in line for food um, at food banks are doing so. 
We need to make sure that our neighbors who are hurting financially are taken care of as well, that they have what they need. Our neighbors who are running small businesses that are in danger of closing, how can we support them? How can we make sure that they are okay? It's hard right now because really no one is okay. <laughs> Everyone is struggling in one way or another, and some people are struggling in many, many ways. So now is not the time to say, I think everyone has a right to decide what's best for them. In fact, I don't think it's ever the right time to say that, but especially now. Now is the time to be like Esther. Even if it's something that makes us uncomfortable, even if it requires some bravery on our part, our goal should be to make sure that everyone is okay. None of us can save the world. None of us can save everyone. But if all of us can make efforts to make sure that our neighbors are okay, whether it's through wearing a mask, whether it's through checking on our elderly neighbors, whether it's through patronizing small businesses, helping at a food bank, taking a meal to someone, all of us need to work at making sure that we are all okay. So may, may we be less like that young woman on the news and more like Esther in the days to come.